So welcome to this channel IBMI classes. Today in this video uh, we are going to discuss how we can create or recreate a decimal data error scenario. So I have already created a example of how we can uh, recreate a data decimal error in my channel. Uh, but that was uh, based on inserting the bad data in file and then reading that fi uh, file. So that was another scenario but uh, in this scenario this is a different scenario than that so uh, we will be uh, going to see a few examples here which i have uh, created or written so let's see so let's see first the very simple example uh, which will cause the data decimal error okay that is pcm3 here now we can see that we have declared a file one in input mode and uh, this is the keyed file so let's see the structure of that file which is in qddssrc okay so the file is this file one whose record format is r file one and this file have three fields field 1 field 2 field 3 and field 1 is numeric tag decimal that is 5 comma 0 field 2 and field 3 are characters of length 10 and 15 and field 1 is the key field in this file so we can use this key field to access this file now since this file has been declared in f specs of the program file specification of the program now in d specs we have declared a variable named var3 of length 15 say and we have declared a ds ds1 named ds1 this one and uh, which have sub fields var1 and var2 var1 is 5p comma 0 pack decimal and var2 is 10a now what we are doing we are moving var3 into ds1 sure and move we have used move l so it, it will be moving from left to right so in case if the value would not uh, resides in the right position that and the ds1 for uh, length is less than var3 then that will be truncated but in this case the both the lengths are same so nothing will be truncated here so we can either we can use move or move well both both are allowed here now we have chain file one be with var one as we already know we have seen that file that first field field one 5p comma 0 was the key there in file one now we have used same var one here variable which is 5p comma 0 length so we have changed using var1 in file1 if record is found in that file1 we will be evaluating field2 in val2 that is another subfield of the ds sure and end if and then last the last record indicator is set to on so this is the basic and the very simple program of few lines only so which will cause data decimal error to be recreated so let's compile this program for take 14 and then shift up then f4 then f10 here paste down so we will be debugging this program so in debug we will be taking star source here press enter then this was already compiled so we are recompiling this take y here so program pgm3 plays in library this with zero severe higher severity created on ibmi class one so let's check whether debugging mode is on strdbg so we'll be debugging pgm3 press enter breakpoint we have set the breakpoint at first line call pgm3 so now we can see var3 is having 
that uh, plank value now we are moving var3 to the ds1 you can see ds1 is having var2 is having the blank value but ds1 is having the bad data which is back decimal 5p comma 0 this is a bad data now so when we chain with variable 1 having bad data in it which is a numeric field defined in this program pgm3 and we are doing the chain operation in file 1 so once we press f10 here you can see that decimal data error occurred so either we should take c g or d or f will take d here for dump and this program will end so we have recreated the decimal data error here so now we have another example again where we have created two programs pgm1 and pgm2 pgm1 is the calling program or you can say the main program here and pgm2 is the call program so let's see here we have uh, created pgm1 in this pgm1 we have again taken a variable of 15 a length and we have declared the prototype for pgm2 which we are calling here so we have used ext pgm as pgm2 here and the prototype takes the input as offline 15a so we have first initialized param var variable as blank and then we are passing that blank variable to the pgm2 program and this program will and the last call indicator will set to on this is the calling program now the call program is pgm2 let's see here we have again declared the same file one uh, which we have uh, did what we have did in pgm3 so here we have ds1 var1 var2 the same thing the only difference here in these two examples are here we are taking uh, this this var uh, that variable var param1 as an entry parameter there we have declared the variable in its program the, as a local variable but here we are taking as an entry parameter so these are the, this is the real scenario where uh, we actually are facing the dash data decimal error in real time scenarios so where we are passing some parameters uh, which is in characters but in case uh, in case suppose we have blank value there or something else and that and that is moving to the next program and then from that parameter it then points to the some ds then in that case the issues uh, uh, data decimal error occurs so here we have a declare an entry parameter list so we are taking param1 as an input of length 15 from pgm1 so again we are moving param1 to ds1 page down the same thing we are chaining the file one with var1 then uh, evaluating if if we are found, we have got the records or we, if the records are found in file one then we will be evaluating fld2 to var2 local var uh, variable or you can that's not a local variable actually that's the sub field of ds1 and then the last records indicator set to on so let's come out so first we compile this program pgm2 that is a call program with a star source okay sure this program has been compiled successfully now we'll be compiling pgm1 with debug v star source this has also been compiled we will be taking pgm1 as in debug mode the strdvg command set the breakpoint at line number 1 call pgm1 now we can see that param1 is blank here so we are passing this to pgm2 take shift f10 
then we are navigated to program 2 pgm2 so we take we have taken the input in param1 which is blank now we are moving this to ds1 so now we can see the values in ds1 again we have val2 of ds1 as blank but var1 of ds1 having the bad data so the same issue has been arised here again so once we are uh, once we do the chain operation with var1 having the bad data in file1 we will be getting the data decimal error again either we can take c or d it depends on your situation but basically we always take d or we should take g if you want to skip the, the processing of this record so we should always take g or uh, if you want to take dump you can take d here sure oh, you want to cancel it you should take c here so this program this whole program pgm2 processing has been cancelled here and we come to star nlr on and this program has been ended so uh, these are the basic scenario uh, examples of recreating a data decimal error in ibm i as 400 so first was a very uh, simple example that is pgm3 and then again pgm1 and pgm2 so we have shown you that how you can recreate a desk how you can get to have a data decimal error in your real time scenario real time situations where you are passing uh, some character variables to another uh, program through parameters and there you are actually moving those to some ds having some numeric field defined or something like the numeric field defined and um, the value that is passing is blank so which gets converted to actually bad data so this is all about for today videos thank you and have a nice time don't forget to subscribe us on youtube and please like and share our videos more and more so that we could um, we could create more videos for learning ibm is 400 and uh, this is what i requested from all my viewers thank you and have a nice time